Hi, welcome. I'm Tina and I'm going to talk to you about um, spiritual release letters or releasing to the universe like journaling. Um, I recently got more into journaling um, I did a course with Gemma Malone. She also has a, a video on on YouTube about journaling for beginners so that you might want to check out. So I realised I have actually been doing a form of journaling over the years looking back so this is one of mine. I've had this is my dreams and desires. Um, if I've done a uh, a meditation, then I've wrote that down what I've got in a meditation. Or if I've done myself a little mini reading, then I've wrote down anything that I sense um, over the time. I'm gonna because this one's a plain one. Um, I do love art, so I'm gonna do some art in that one. Um, we've got my gratitude. So um, I did a I can't remember any days, it might have been 21 days of gratitude. Um, so every single day for 21 days, I wrote what I'm grateful for each day, and it can be from really, really small to, to big things. Um, I can't remember who I did that with. I might have been, I've, I've seen it some, with something. Anyway, so um, that's got also other things in it, so I mix and match. I suppose you could keep them. That's my gratitude candle. Uh, candle. That's <laughs> that's because I have a gratitude candle as well behind me, which I um, I light and I say I am grateful for all that I have and all that I will have. So that's why it's a gratitude candle because I have one of them as well. So um, yeah, so there's different things in that one. Um, these are my old ones. I realised. Um, so in here, there's just been little thoughts meditations that kind of thing but just recently this is a new one so I've just started to write down any ramblings that come into my head it can be anything at all um, it doesn't have to be spiritual it's anything at all it releases it from the brain and um, that's what I learnt with doing a Gemma's course um, so as you can see, all my other ones were gratitude, they were dreams and desires, which you can put in this. You can put anything at all, whatever comes to you. It's the monkey mind, it's releasing, and you are giving it over to the universe as you write. Um, the release letter is slightly different, so I've done these as well. Um, but after talking to my mentor um, for a while, I realised that sometimes you don't put all into the release letter so say for instance a given situation somebody's upset you and you can't necessarily express that to them but you need to express it in some way you need to release it so you write them a letter this letter um, you want to express the situation you want to express you know what's gone on how you're feeling about it you know and then and then give it away you can set it on fire you can give it to the water you can bury it you can keep it, um, you can do an en elemental, uh, which I'll talk about, I did do, um, but the thing kept coming back, kind of kept, every time I thought I'd, I've released this, yet yeah, it just kept coming back to me. So after talking to Gemma, we, I just, and she asked me, kind of what was I putting in the release letter, and basically I was just being a bit too kind, I was just not really releasing the inner part in me. I wasn't really saying what, how I was affected. I wasn't saying why did you, you know, why did this happen? Why did you do that to me? So I was being very light and I was being very kind. I didn't have any, um, I didn't get nasty in any way because I'm, I'm generally just not a nasty person unless you know, mess with my kids and uh, mama bear comes out. Um, and I just didn't put the rawness into the letter. So I went back and I just poured everything out. I just poured it all out. And I decided that I was going to do this over four days. So I just poured it out. Not the same things, just all different things throughout the four days. And I have to say, by the fourth day, I just felt like... I'd come to the positivity because you always need to end on a positive so you are releasing all this junk all these things away from you but you need to um, really 
go on a positive on your, you know, when you finish. So you could do one letter, but you need to finish on a positive. If you did it like me, where I did it over a few days, because it was quite deep ingrained into me, this um, situation. So I just really needed to just shift the energy from, away from me. So I decided... Um, I also did it uh, with the elements, so the first letter um, would have been buried and then I would chose to, the second letter to be fire and then the third letter to be teared up and put into, you know, into a stream and to be taken away and I think I did another one where it was really windy and I just um, tied tiny, tiny uh, pieces of t paper in my garden by the way, like around my garden and, and released it. So. So those, those are the elementals. I was giving it over. I got that from spirit myself about feeling like, you know, just giving it away to the universe and it's different elements away. But I have to say that by the fourth letter, I just felt the release and I felt the forgiveness come in. And the forgiveness is not just, a, it's not about the situation. It's not about the other person. It's about you. It's about your ability to say, um, it doesn't affect me anymore. I'm okay and I'm willing to go forward. You know, you you or the situation just can't affect me anymore, and I'm willing to forgive it. You're not forgetting, you don't know, you know necessarily, but you're just willing to kind of just release it. So that's the point you need to get to. Um, so if you need to do it over several days and just keep pouring and pouring it out onto the, onto the letter, um, but do end on on a positive. Do end up on saying, um, what did it teach you? Can you come from the other person's perspective? Can you uh, can you come from a different viewpoint than your own um, and see come from that as well? Because that also adds an element to it as well. Um, so and can you learn a lesson? Is there a lesson? Is there a positivity that comes out of it? Um, I think I've shown you all mine, haven't I? Yeah. There's loads of like um, journals. You realise that I've been keeping journals for years and didn't really consider what it was, but <laughs> yeah, it's just mine. But I would suggest this good, the good one, um, where you just release him. You just, you're, you're purging. Um, I hope that didn't disturb. My thing, my phone came up with something then, but I hope it didn't disturb the video. I will be back next time. I'll see you then. Bye.